reason I got into painting is because I finished playing football at Cambridge and uh, I used to draw at school and uh, I used to draw for myself a bit and um, I needed a hobby so my girlfriend bought me some paints and I sold my first painting so it just continued from there really. How old were you when you sold your first painting? Probably 27ish when I stopped playing football at Cambridge. So which was, what was the painting that you sold? Can you remember uh, what it was? Yeah, it was a street scene. It was a small watercolour and I hadn't done any watercolours. I knew nothing about it. And I bought uh, a book to teach how to do watercolours. And uh, yeah, just messed around and sold the first painting I did. It was a street scene of France. You like your photographic style of painting, so your pictures look like photographed images. Uh -huh. How did you ever find that that control to actually create a piece of work that, that refined? Um, the reason I like representational art, is that a word? Yeah. Is because, even on this painting here, can you see this? Yeah, we can see it. It's, it looks like hens, but when you look closely at it, the, uh, the brush strokes are quite loose. And I learned that from... Um, I went to the National Gallery and saw a painting by Velasquez. Okay. And his was hundreds of years old and it looked photorealistic to me. But the more you learn, the more you realise it isn't. Was that it, was my biggest influence. Was it a natural talent you had or did it take a lot of practice? Everything takes practice, but I could always draw. I always liked drawing. And my dad was a good artist, even though no one's taught me anything. It's usually a hered hereditary thing. <laughs> Possibly. Look, you know, talents are bust down, I believe. But um, I think uh, having an interest and a bit of natural ability helps. And then just practice. So there are a couple of images you have made which represent your love for football and your love for music. Um, what sort of music do you focus around your paintings? If I was to focus on a, a music subject for paintings, it would be jazz. Jazz. The kind of 60s era, the classic black and white. Yeah. Jazz images, when uh, proper characters. Is there any icons you specifically work on? Not particularly, a certain era, the kind of the Blue Note era, if you know that label. Mm. The really good uh, photographic albums of that era. John Coltrane and... Um, Sonny Rollins, people like that. I've just got that certain character and style that I like. And your love for football obviously represents on the paintings you create as well. I uh, do st the sport images I paint. Are, um, I've always liked the image of uh, movement. So not only footballers but horses. Anything with movement and um, energy I like. like. Groups of footballers challenging, you know. Yeah or leaping into each other or running fast. I've always liked that, even from a child. When creating this artwork, do you ever do it for the aspects of money or just for the talent and the love that you have for it? I think anything involved with, it, with art and money, if you're going to do it for the money, it just never works. Mm. You have to do uh, things for the love of things and, uh, and an interest in the subject or else um, the final outcome just never works. And it shows in the final outcome as yeah. well. If I get commissions that I'm not interested in painting, they're never quite as good as a subject you're interested in. Is there anything coming up for you as a, for your artwork? Meaning? Are you going to be showing it to anyone? Any public viewings? Um, for, let me think how to word that really. Uh, in the future, I've got an exhibition coming up next year at Norwich, at the Madderhall Theatre, if you know that. But um, I've got a year to prepare for that, so I've done no groundwork at all for that. I've <laughs> decided what needs doing. It's open to me to do what I like. Are you going to use your old paintings, do you think, or just create a new, a new gonna, project? The artwork for this exhibition I'll be doing will all be new work. Is there anything that's interested you so far in the new projects? My new work, it's, um, because I've got an open book on subject matter, 
I mean, we literally have got the whole world and the whole universe to choose from. <laughs> so it's a case of narrowing down some subject matter. Might be some hens. I seem to paint a lot of hens lately. <laughs> but being in Norwich, possibly some Norfolk landscapes, seascapes. Or well, I might do some street scenes. I might even do a run of portraits. And I literally, it will come to me in a flash of inspiration, hopefully, and then I'll decide. Do you see your work collaborating with any more forms of art? For instance, portraits of, I don't know, your family, and then, or certain things of dancers or singers or actresses, if you find an actress, would you make a project around those people to kind of collaborate your artwork together? I, uh, last year I did, uh, oh sorry, I didn't, um, can, can you ask that again? Because I didn't repeat the question, did I? Hang on, we'll cut two seconds because my film's going to run out. Hang on. So with um, your own art, how would you collaborate with the other art forms if you can find any, like, I don't know, creating portraits of your family or portraits of dancers, singers, actresses, but, you know, kind of hidden hidden actresses? Um, my artwork, to co collaborate with other people on my artwork, um, last year I did, um, I was asked to do an album cover for a soul singer, wow. stroke gospel singer in uh, North London, which I did, and she's had her album released now. What's that album called? I couldn't tell you, but I <laughs> could tell you. Her name's Carla Thomas. Okay. She's kind of a gospel stroke soul singer in London, but basically from Leicester originally, but she's in Dalston in North London. Oh, I see. So I've been asked down for her um, album release, to celebrate her album release when it comes. That's it's good. Night, aren't they? <laughs> she, uh, she, yeah, she's really good, really friendly. How did she approach you with that project? That She approached me through social media. She followed me on Twitter and uh, saw my artwork and got in touch with me and um, yeah, we took it from there. Do you feel like the differences between when you first started your art to now, does social media really help and affect your art getting out there? Uh, using social media in art and anything uh, where you want to kind of broadcast yourself is absolutely perfect, I think. There's so many tools. I can reach people all around the world. Um, for instance, uh, a month ago I sold a painting in Canada. Wow. I'm doing a portrait for a lady in um, South Africa at, at this moment. And then on the um, middle of last week, I was contacted by some web designers. It turns out they're from Peterborough. Oh, wow. And they tracked me down from the internet, Facebook and Twitter, and um, ordered a series of paintings off me. So, you know, it, I could stretch all around the world or just around the corner. So it worked perfectly for me. Do you feel like you have to push on social media? Do you give enough attention for yourself to actually get this response off other people? Is it a 24-hour thing of Twittering or is it not? Um, to use any social media, I think. Uh, you, personally, I don't like to overkill stuff. No. And people get sick of you. But um, just keep it interesting and uh, not repetitive. Vary the subject matter and... Uh, I find that, um, you know, you're kind of in touch with uh, different people then instead of just one sticking to one subject. Uh, even hens, are, you won't believe how popular the hens are on Twitter. <laughs> I've got 60 likes on Twitter. 60 likes? No, right, just, just three hens mooching around in my garden. <laughs> so, you know, all life is out there. Yeah. 24 hours a day if you want it to be. Um, yeah. So living in Peterborough, do you find, if there's any artistic, I don't know, motivation, is there a lot of artistic motivation in Peterborough, do you feel, um, or do you feel like it needs to be enhanced a little bit more? I think living in Peterborough as an artist, I mean there is an art scene, there's an art scene wherever you go, there's a good theatre here and uh, a decent art gallery and museum, but there, there could always be much more. I mean, I was in Cambridge at the Fitzwilliam Museum at the weekend, and you know, it's a world class museum. Have you been there? No. And uh, full of Van Goghs and um, Titians and Picassos. So, you know, I 
can't see Peterborough having the money for a place like that. But, um, no. I think you have to make your own uh, your own scene if there's not one there. You know, again, especially with art or music or anything like that, it's uh, it's down to you to create. Doesn't matter where you are. Thank you.